fans, welcome to this week's edition of Superstars of the Ring. I am your host, Eric Snook, and we have a great episode planned for you this week. First, we're going to get into the biggest picture that we have going today, which is the focus on the CCW Heavyweight Championship. Of course, our champion right now is the outlaw Jamie McKinnon, who in a couple of weeks, on July 8th, in Lake City, Florida, brought to us by Games & More, the outlaw Jamie McKinnon will have to defend his title against newcomer here in CCW, Kakino Palomalo. Now, if you guys are not familiar with the history of the outlaw, of course, he has been wrestling for over two decades. He's already a member of the Hall of Honor here in CCW. And like I already said, he is our heavyweight champion. Now, the CCW production team has put together a special video package to get you guys more acquainted and more accustomed to the outlaw, Jamie McKinnon, the CCW heavyweight champion, and we're going to take you away to that now. Oh my God, please help me knee deep in the river trying to get clean. He says, wash your hands, get out the stains, but you best believe, boy, there's hell to pay. Yeah, you best believe, boy, there's hell to pay, Sam. Welcome back fans, there we had that special look at the outlaw Jamie McKinnon, who like I mentioned earlier, will have to defend his title against Kakino Palomalo, who is one of the newest and brightest superstars here in CCW. Now a lot of folks are wondering, why does Palomalo deserve a chance at heavyweight gold already? And we're going to take you back to a match that really opened the eyes of all the CCW members of the head office, the directors, the bookers, the promoters, everybody. Recently, Kakino Palomalo and Jay Lee had a match against Daniel Anderson and Julian Marks of the Diamond Exchange. It really opened the eyes of everybody here in CCW, and this is what got us thinking 
hey, maybe this guy deserves a shot at CCW Gold. So without further ado, we're going to take you away to our match of the week, a blast from the past. Jay Lee and Kakito Palomalo taking on the Diamond Exchange. And being led to the ring by Diamond Dave, you see the Diamond Exchange. Hollywood Von Royal, the personal security guard of the Diamond Exchange. And on our left, Daniel Anderson. And there you see on the right, Mayhem Julian Marks. And this group is one of the most hated groups in the history of CCW. And they have shown they will not stop at anything. Both Daniel Anderson and Julian Marks are former CCW heavyweight champions. And Hollywood Von Royal who I believe me can go toe to toe with any CCW superstar. Diamond Exchange will be taking on the very young team of Jay Lee, the martial arts expert. And Kakino Palamalu, who's one of the newest superstars here in CCW. Palomalu from the island of Hawaii. And the fans, especially the young kids, love Jay Lee and Kikino Palomalu. But they have a very tough task ahead of them as they have to take on a very experienced team of Diamond Exchange. And they're going to have to look out for Diamond Dave and Hollywood Von Royal. And really, this is, this is more like a four-on-two match. Palamalu starting this one out with Mayhem Julian Marks. They tie up in the middle of the ring here. Julian Marks hammered away on that left arm and left shoulder of Palomalu. Julian Marks already asking for Palomalu to give up, but Palomalu reverses it. And he's got that armbar wrenched up. And takes him into a headlock. Young superstar looking real good here. A lot of good back and forth action here. 
So far, Kikita Palomalo has got the upper hand. Another reversal, another arm bar. And he takes him over. And this is par for the course for the Diamond Exchange. They're going to slow this down to their pace. They're going to do things their way. Keep the Young Tech team from moving fast and flying high. Whips him into the ropes. Misses with a clothesline. And Kikino comes back with a clothesline of his own. We have a pinfall one. Just a one count. But I believe that has got the attention of Julian Marks. And now we have a tag, Daniel Anderson. Now Daniel Anderson will have his go at Kikino Palomalo. And Kikino just throws him down. And Anderson was not expecting that and tags Marks back into the match. Julian Marks with a kick to the gut. Picks him up. And just going to walk him around the ring until he delivers a devastating power slam. And now Daniel Anderson gladly tags into the match. What do they have in store for him here? It's like a double team maneuver. And two elbows connect and Kikino Palomalo does not even know where he's at right now. Getting a very rude welcoming to Continental Championship Wrestling by the Diamond Exchange. And a sleeper hold. But Kikino reverses it with a jawbreaker. And he makes it over to Jay Lee, who enters the match for the first time. The martial arts expert, the freshman of the ring, and he goes to work on Daniel Anderson. Those powerful chops from the jiu-jitsu artist. And this time connects right on the forehead of Daniel Anderson. And a pinball one, two, not quite a two count. Daniel Anderson, oh so close to tagging in Bay and Julian Marks, but Jay Lee able to stop that and wrenches down on the arm of the former champion, Daniel Anderson. Come on, Jay Lee. Jay Lee, Kikino Palomalo, they have to keep an eye out. For Diamond Dave and Hollywood Von Royal. I would argue that Hollywood Von Royal is the most dangerous out of those two. And there she goes, grabbing the foot of Jay Lee. And Dim Diamond Dave distracting the referee. And Hollywood Von Royal attacking and choking Jay Lee. And the ref does not seem to distracted by all of this. And that's just what I was talking about. Dirty tactics by the Diamond Exchange. And a double suplex sends Jay Lee up and over. And a huge leg drop right on the throat of Jay Lee. And another one connects. And this could be it for the young tag team of Jay Lee and Kikino Palomalu. And a third one. Driving the point home here in a pinball one. And somehow Jay Lee with a wherewithal to kick out after a count of one. Unbelievable. Mayhem Julian Marks couldn't believe it either. Whips him into the ropes. And a drop to hold. Daniel Anderson just disrespectfully slapping Jay Lee in the face.
And again, Diamond Day distracting the referee. And you can see Hollywood Monroe pummeling Jay Lee. Daniel Anderson takes out Kikino. And this is all over the place here. The referee having a hard time keeping order. And not just double team, not just triple team, but quadruple team by the Diamond Exchange. Julian Marks and Daniel Anderson in full control of this matchup. Thanks to the assistance of Hollywood Von Royal and Diamond Dave. Quick snap elbow there by Daniel Anderson. throws an elbow at Kikino Palomalu. You see Daniel Anderson actually laughing. Having a great time here as they systematically take apart Jay Lee. And again, the referee being distracted by a riled up Kikino. Julian Marks stopping away on Jay Lee, the martial arts expert. Jay Lee ducks a clothesline, but catches an elbow instead. Things are not looking great for Jay Lee. A DDT. Pitch perfect. One, two, and he kicks out again. And again, I just believe this is just pure instinct from Jay Lee. I really don't think he knows where he is at the moment. Palomalo trying to get Jay Lee back into this match, trying to get the crowd riled up. And it seems to be working. Jay Lee looks like he's breaking out of the hold. Wild swing at elbows. He's almost out of it. Backs him into the ropes, whips him, and delivers a huge clothesline. And he needs to make a tag, and he will. Kikino Palomalo in the ring. And he goes straight for that left arm, wrenching up on it again. You can see the pain, the agony in the face of Julian Marks. Get away from me, ref. What are you doing? Get. Get. I'm the ref. Well, I need the camera. Joey Marks in the corner. Joey Marks just body slammed by Kikino Palomalo. And Joey Marks is not a small man, showing the power. Marks had the foot on the rope, and Daniel Anderson broke up the pinfall, anyways. You keep an eye on Diamond Dave there, you see on the corner of the screen. It looks like they might be working on a plan. Escafino Palomalu whips Julian Marks into the opposite turnbuckle. Misses with a running clothesline. And man just slams him down right on the back of the head. not been a great learning experience for Kikino Palomalo and Jay Lee. It's basically a four on two matchup. But Kikino ducks a clothesline, takes out Julian Marks. Daniel Anderson realizes he's cornered. And again, here's that double team distracting Kikino. And he's choking him on the ropes. Hollywood Von Royal grabs the foot of Kikino and a low blow. The ref did not see it, but it was a low blow, a swinging neck breaker. And this could be it. But 
Kikita Palamalu. Schoolboy, one, two, three, and an upset victory. Kikita Palamalu gets the pinfall, and Jay Lee and Kikita Palamalu have won the match. Unbelievable. The Diamond Exchange's own Dirty Medicine work against them. And Jay Lee and Kikita Palamalu win the match. And there's a disagreement in the ring. Hollywood Von Royal just decked Diamond Dave. I guess they were trying to blame her for what happened. And Hollywood Von Royal walking out on the Diamond Exchange. Unbelievable. As Hollywood Von Royal left the Diamond Exchange for good. professional wrestler have you ever dreamed of making it to the top and wearing championship gold well here is your opportunity email us today at customer service at ccwrestling.biz the ccw training school is accepting new students now start your journey today on your way to greatness Welcome back, wrestling fans. There we saw Kikino Palomalo and Jay Lee pulling off an upset victory against the Diamond Exchange. Of course, Kikino has a big, big shot. The biggest match of his career is coming up on July 8th as he gets to take on the outlaw Jamie McKinnon for the CCW Heavyweight Championship. We recently caught up with Kikino, and he's got some words for Jamie McKinnon and the CCW fans on this big, big title shot. Aloha CCW fans, it's Kikino Palomalu here and I can't tell you how excited I am to finally have a chance at Jamie McKinnon's CCW Heavyweight Championship. I've worked so hard, I've grinded sleepless nights, I've flown across the country and now I'm finally here where I know that I belong. I'm taking that championship and I'm taking it back home with me to Hawaii so we can have the biggest luau that CCW's ever seen. Aloha. Welcome back, fans, that we heard from Kikino Palomalo. He's excited about the opportunity to win the CCW Heavyweight Championship, to take it back home to Hawaii and celebrate with all his friends and family. This is the biggest match of his short career, and it's going to be an epic event on July 8th in Lake City, Florida, brought to us by Games & More. Now, of course, this is all leading us up to the biggest event of the year, which is Wrestle Bash 2017 and it has the potential to be the biggest wrestle bash in CCW history. We need to find out who is gonna be our heavyweight champion going into that event. We're gonna find that on July 8th, whether it be Kikino Palamalo, or whether it's gonna be the outlaw Jamie McKinnon, we don't know quite yet. We'll find that out on July 8th, but that's gonna wrap up this week's edition of Superstars of the Ring. I am your host, Eric Snook, and we are gonna see you next week here on CCW, Superstars of the Ring.